Episode 5. Let's do this shit. Licensed by Nintendo. That's always a good sign, I suppose. Viacom International. Zoop! Fucking Zoop. Zoop was fantastic. Now, I mean, you think that you'll see, say, uh, the Madden games, like in my first episode here, released on a lot of platforms. I mean, there's a PS3 release, there's the Xbox 360, PC, Wii. I mean, you get a lot of releases for uh, Madden. Nothing has shit on Zoop except possibly Tetris. When Zoop came out, it was literally released on every single fucking thing in existence. Everything. It was released on your mother. Which is funny, because it's really not that good of a game. I mean, it's okay. It reminds me a little of Clax, if anything, just from multiple different degrees. Um, and I've never actually played it on the Monochrome Game Boy, which makes it a little bit more interesting, but they've, set, they've got the pattern, so the simple gameplay is pretty much the same. The basic idea of Zoop is you gather up the, the color that you mash whenever you hit the button, and you can take them out one by one like this, but by getting a certain color and then just getting a whole row of them, you get more points. Like all good puzzle games, puzzle herein meaning something that is uh, involving multicolored and multi-patterned blocks and not something that actually hurts your brain in any particular way. I mean, points are really what you're after. There's nothing in the game except points, the high score. Uh, I don't remember what mode I picked in the beginning. There's like a non-stop mode like most puzzle games have. There's a mode that actually goes from level to level as it gets harder and harder each time. It's fairly typical, so I'm not sure exactly where the marketing blitz for this came from, but I remember it being goddamn everywhere when it was released. I don't think I ever actually purchased the game, but I know I at least rented the Super Nintendo version or something at the time, so I'm a little familiar with it, but it's been fucking ages since I've played it. Uh, let's see, I need that, and that, I need to get, clear up some space here. Maybe it gets more hectic later on, I don't really remember. I'm not doing fantastic as it is, so I can't exactly brag or anything, but I don't remember Zoop being super hard in any of its incarnations. I was a stupid kid though, so who really honestly knows? This game could be fucking balls hard, and uh, I'm clearly not doing my very best here, so who knows. Ooh, power up. I like power ups. Not sure exactly what that one does. It seems to be a cluster bomb. Always good to have. Let's see here. Clear out some more shit. Clear some zebra stripe blocks. Not a lot to say about Zoop, unfortunately. It's not a bad game, honestly. If you want to kill a little bit of time, you could go. It's it's something that you would play on, say, Congregate, and have a perfectly good time with for a while. It's nothing that you'd write a love letter to, it's nothing that you'd bitch and moan about particularly, it's just a solid little game, but nothing you're gonna play for more than a day or two. And I'm sure it retailed for like 80 goddamn dollars back when it came out, like so many pieces of crap did. But I mean, if I could get some congregate achievements, I'd probably play it for a couple of hours, because I am a goddamn achievement whore. Let's see. Oh, I was not paying attention, and I have lost a life. Oh no. End of game. Luckily, the high score table is completely empty, so we have no worries. We can just, uh, put our name in perfectly happily. Nico. More or less. And that starts us all over again, so we have to apparently put in a goddamn Rosetta Zone code to, uh, quit. Let's check out one of the other levels. That was continual, so let's try level. I don't think I'll be able to do multiplayer. Just a hunch. I don't actually know how the levels worked in the last mode that we played, so I'm just gonna hope that continual actually makes some sense in that regard. Because while we might have been going up in levels, it was the kind of Tetris levels where there's no transition. I guess it just gets a little bit harder. Uh, fucking Zoop. It's a good name. I mean, it kind of is one of those un... un bleh, I cannot pronounce shit. Amananapias. No, that's not it. I'm gonna edit this out. No, fuck I'm not. Onomatopoeia. Anyway. I don't know why that brain fart came from. I apologize, folks. It's an onomatopoeia that really works, because it's like 
Zoop totally encompasses the way your little spaceship thingy moves. It's honestly a pretty good title. I cannot fault it for that. See? Zoop. 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 Ironically, continual mode actually wipes them out when you go up a level, as opposed to the level mode, which does not. This is a, a little baffling, honestly, but whatever. Give me some fucking zebra blocks. Eh, I guess I'll change it out. Whatever. I don't even know if Zoop later introduces, like, more and more patterns, or if it's the same ones over and over again just coming at you at a more frantic pace. I've, again, never played it long enough to really care about all that. I just remember, for some reason, whoever made this game was just... I mean, I guess it was Viacom, but... They were just, uh, blitzing the shit out of it. They were treating it like the Second Coming of Christ. It was released on every system at the time that I can think of. And it was just ungodly everywhere as far as like gaming ads and stuff went. I don't get it. Maybe the maybe this was near the height of the Tetris popularity, maybe a little bit after and they wanted a piece of that sweet pie. I'm thinking that's the most likely explanation for Zoop's Blitz back in the day, but it was never a good enough game to nearly even closely compete with Tetris to be frank. Most of these quote unquote puzzle games are not. It's just a sad fact of life. Hooray, we got to their level. Fantastic. What I think, though, I mean, again, I played it probably on the Super Nintendo or the Genesis. I don't remember which. It was on everything. Um, but the Game Boy version that I'm playing now would probably not be too bad of a way to spend your money at the time. It would be cheaper, and the portability of it would be a good way to kill stretches of time. I mean, the reason Tetris has been such a fucking... what's the word... The reason Tetris is awesome, you see, is because uh, it was portable in the way that most people first experienced it, and portable gaming is just the way to kill fucking time. You can do the same thing over and over again with minute changes, and you don't really care. People would decry console games for being repetitive in that case, but stuff like Tetris and Zoop are perfect for long fucking car rides when you're 8 years old. There's just no game that's quite as good because I mean, you can beat a linear platformer and be done with it and not want to go back and play it again but a puzzle game like this you can just play it over and over and over again and always try to do a little bit better it's honestly a good way to entertain yourself and that's why the Game Boy was fucking inundated with the things so why we got terrible clones like Columns on the Game Gear and uh, ended up with shit like Puzzle Pirates, one of the worst quote-unquote MMOs ever fucking made. Alright, if you clear an entire stack, you get a bonus. I forgot about that. Ten to one, those bonuses are actually called Zoops. That's just kind of how people rolled back then. Oh, let's see here. Bam. We are clearly kicking some ass now that we've actually gotten our bearings back in this game. And yeah, they are coming faster and more furious, so I guess I'm going to have to keep up the pace. Oh boy. Are your panties wet yet? Are you super fucking thrilled by all this? It's zoop, motherfuckers. And we can also just mash the button randomly and hope we do awesome. That's the surest way to lose. You can't just randomly scribble and mash and shit and hope you win. What do you think this is, Medios? This is Zoop, goddammit. Alrighty, let's see. It's a very nice, clean white block. I like that white block. Nothing intended by that, I mean... I just think it's a clean design. And I think if I ducked behind it for a few seconds, I'd turn invincible. Oh fuck, I lose. That's what I get for not paying attention, I guess. This has been episode 5 of Let's Play Game Boy with Zoop.